Welcome to Neon Cobra. Let's kick into it. This week, I want to talk about everyone's favorite thing, automations, Azure runbooks. So this is, I would probably say often overlooked or is generally not really thought about in large scale, but Azure runbooks is essentially the ability to run scripting against the Azure tenant and its resources itself. So an easy way to kind of think about it is your PowerShell, your Python, your general scripting, would be within the OS level itself. And when you kind of lift yourself into Azure and you start to look at platform services, suddenly you can't target file shares or like the underlying gateway architecture or maybe how we scale resources and things like that without going into Azure itself, which then gets you into, you know, the cloud shell and maybe just trying to do things through GUI or manually connecting in. Azure Runbooks actually has the ability to kind of build out certain automations and tasks that will affect any resource within Azure um, can actually be very handy for reporting as well. Um, I was recently turned on to one actually from a, from a partner of mine, Neil. Um, shout out to Neil. Uh, he shows me an Azure runbook that actually scans the environment for orphaned resources. So it can be used from a reporting standpoint as well. Now, the best part about these, it can run on generally any language, but usually JSON is kind of its preferred language of choice from what I've seen. Um, and there are massive GitHub repos around these runbooks. So if you search, you know, just your Azure runbooks, um, you will find like GitHub repositories that'll have like some general samples and it's a great way to get started. So the reason why I like bringing these up is in previous videos, we talked about Azure budgeting and Azure budgeting, you know, what happens when an environment maybe hits certain thresholds. Part of that is you can action runbooks. You can have logic apps or functions trigger runbooks that do specific things to the environment, whether it's shutting resources down, adding in any sort of restrictions, send notifications out, purge resources. So it's, it's a very, very powerful tool. If you haven't done any of that and you're looking to evolve your Azure skill set, check them out.